Nick, we're basically two old, outdated guys that just like to sit on the couch and watch football rather than watching our Twitter feed for the latest four or five star recruit and his latest whim of a selection of a school. But hey, it's part of our deal. It's part of our business. And <laughs> this is the time when it goes off the charts crazy for people uh, being paranoid about that uh, that guy that I'm alluding to, whoever that is. Yeah. And uh, and we're just three weeks away from National Signing Day, and USC obviously has a number of guys uh, in the fray, and one apparently is in the fold, and uh, he's a big recruit. Yeah, so four-star safety Bubba Bolden, uh, he originally committed to USC, uh, flipped to, I believe, Ohio State because he's he's from Las Vegas. He's teammates with uh, the quarterback Tate Martell and some other elite guys that were going to Ohio State. Um, and then over the weekend at the Army All-American game, he decided to recommit to USC. Um, so you've got a guy who's flipped commitments twice. I don't know how much weight you want to put on an 18, 17, 19-year-old kid uh making a life decision here and he's already flipped twice but it seems like uh he is back in the fold with usc um he's one of probably the top 10 or 15 uh players in the country at that at the safety position so that's always good uh especially if you know you're losing dbs um like especially if uh, a cornerback like D uh dory jackson is gone you're going to need some help there uh in the secondary so uh, USC's got a lot of work to do on the recruiting front. It's going to be a busy couple of weeks uh, for them because they've got to get uh, a lot of players locked in. Um, their class is not nearly where they'd want it to be right now, but a lot's going to happen. Uh, certainly the impact of winning nine straight and going on national TV in the Rose Bowl and playing an amazing game is going to attract a lot of kids that are on the fence about Clay Helton or the USC program. So that's that's all going to help. Uh, they've still got T. Martin as their offensive coordinator, who T. Martin is uh, one of the best recruiters in the country. He frequently wins national awards for uh, recruiting. Uh, from the various sites that that measure and track all of these things. So last year they were kind of struggling because, again, Clay Helton was an interim coach for most of the season. He couldn't do a lot of recruiting. Uh, and in the final month uh, coming into to last year's National Signing Day, he, he and his staff headed out of the park. So uh, we're hoping he has a repeat performance and is able to really bring the class home um, – because again, you know, with with a few notable exceptions, like say Stanford, um, there is a pretty strong correlation between recruiting success and on the field success. It's not shocking that Alabama uh, is in the top three, top one classes almost every year, and then also in the national championship picture every single year. Um, so it's 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 hugely important um, and. Hopefully they keep Bolden in the fold and continue to uh, pick up recruits in this last month because uh, they did not have a strong start to the season uh, recruiting wise. Uh, so Clay Helton is once again going to have to bring it really bring it home in the last three weeks uh, to have uh, a solid top 10 to uh, recruiting class.